namely Senator Amy Marcos, Governor Matthew Marcos Manotok, my seatmate Congressman Angelo Marcos Barba, Vice Governor Cecilia Araneta Marcos, to the Sangunyang Panalawigan of the 1st and 2nd District, City and Municipal Mayors na imbag na malen tayo amin na po. Um, I uh, stand before you a humble and grateful man, so I would like to start my speech with a message of thanks. Thank you first to my family, whom could not make it today due to uh, impending uh, preparations for a certain presidential inauguration in three days' time. But I would like to thank them for their unwavering support, unwavering guidance, and uh, constant, constant push that they gave me throughout the campaign. Secondly, to my political fairy godmother, si Ma'am Senadora Aimee Marcos, whom without you I probably would not be here. So I have unending thanks and gratitude to you, Ma'am. And of course, to my political kuya, Governor Matthew Marcos Manotok, thank you, sir, for all the help you have given me, for all the guidance you have provided. And of course, uh, to Vice Governor Cecilia Araneta Marcos, to Congressman Angelo Marcos Barba, and to all the mayors, vice mayors, barangay capitans, and certain and numerous officials who assisted me in the campaign, I will be forever indebted uh, for that, to everything that you have done. Uh, I must admit to all of you that the night before election day was a night filled with no sleep, lots of stress, lots of nervousness, and certainly a lot of anxiety. Um, naalala to ni Gov, pero nung uh, madaling araw na, tinawagan ko siya at sinabi ko, tama ba yung desisyon ko na tumakbo bilang diputado iti unang distrito? Tama ba na ito ang naging desisyon namin? Pero po, nung dumarating na ang resulta, that nervousness became one of pride and one of joy. Not only because I was able to garner 105,000 votes, but because I became the first Marcos to run in the first district of Ilocos Norte and emerge victorious. But me becoming congressman of the first district means that we must now tackle the problems that face us not only in Ilocos Norte but in the entire country. We face an economy that is ridden with rising prices, inflation, higher gas prices due to a war which we cannot control. But despite this tall order, I promise all of you here to all my kakailian that as your first district representative, I will bring pride to Ilocos Norte within the House of Representatives. I have made sure that despite not uh, officially taking office, that uh, we have to hit the ground running. Uh, I am sure, and I'm sure it has to be said, that despite being the congressman of the first district, also being the uh, soon-to-be presidential son, is not without its tall expectations and uh, big demands. So I have met with the necessary agencies to make sure that once I assume office, uh, that we will hit the ground running and that we have numerous projects in place. I have made sure with whatever budget is left for this year that we have programs that we can implement, namely the installation of certain infrastructure projects such as solar lights, 
in the bypass road of Lawag City, and in the most dimly lit areas of the 1st District of Ilocos Norte. Secondly, to bring back the employment that we have lost due to the pandemic, I have reinitiated, after speaking with the Department of Labor and Employment, the Government Internship Program, which has uh, unfortunately taken, uh, taken a backstage in recent time, and that is for to not only provide the short-term remedies that uh, TUPAD would provide, but give a six-month internship program to as 18 to 30-year-old applicants to work in any agency of government in Ilocos Norte paid for by the district office. These are many, these are part of many of the plans and programs that we all have in order to address these issues. But to be able to curtail these programs, I must ask of you that the time for politics has come to an end, the time for public service in Ilocos Norte has begun. So we here, no matter what political color, red, green, pink, blue or white, I ask that we stand together as one Ilocos Norte, as one Solid North. Only then can we make sure that we support the incoming administration of President-elect Bongbong Marcos to the best of our capabilities. Alam nyo po, nung nag-usap kami ng aking tatay at sinabi ko po na nanenervyos talaga ako na tumakbo sa unang distrito. Sinabi niya po sa akin, alam nyo Sandro, nung nakaraan po at pumunta kami sa Hawaii, nung lahat po ng tao ay hindi na lumalapit sa akin, ang mga tao lang na tumulong sa amin ay ang mga Ilocano. Kaya po, ang sinasabi ko ngayon, kailangan lahat po kayo rito ay naging kasama namin sa kahirapan. Dapat na dapat magkasama rin tayo sa tagumpay. Kaya po, I am hoping that from this day forward, we bring forth that message of unity, not just as a campaign message, not just as a campaign slogan, but that we live by it over the next three, uh, over the next six years of this incoming administration. But once again, I am here to say thank you and give my gratitude as the new kid on the block. And it makes me so, so happy to say that I am here, Congressman-elect, Ferdinand Alexander Marcos, not just ready to serve, but now at your service, Apo. Diyos unay, tiyag nina, agbiyag, Ilocos Norte, Apo.